Homecoming week at Illinois State is a favorite time of year for Linda and me. We are proud to welcome all of our alumni and friends back to campus, and this year we will have more than 50 events. For our alumni, homecoming is one of the best times to return to campus, visit former professors, see what's changed, and a lot has changed, and see what's remained the same, and generally just have a lot of fun. The campus enjoys having you back, and we appreciate the time you've spent this week with students, faculty, and staff members in your home colleges and departments. I hear lots of comments from our students about alumni visits, and they really appreciate the chance to hear about your professional careers and your advice as they prepare for the workplace of tomorrow. Even if you haven't been back to campus for a while, I know that our alumni relations office does a great job keeping you up to date with the alumni magazine, newsletters, Facebook, and in many other ways. I hope you've also had the chance to attend one of our alumni gatherings that occur around the state and around the country that are held from time to time. We try to bring a little bit of Illinois State University to wherever you live, and we certainly enjoy seeing you at those events. Still, there is nothing quite like coming back to campus, and even if you've only been away a short time, a great deal has changed not only on the campus, but also in Uptown Normal. We are extremely proud of the 2010 freshman class. This fall, Illinois State enrolled a new freshman class of 3,190 students from an applicant pool of over 14,000. Average ACT this year topped 24, one of only two public universities in the state with ACTs above 24. And we have 400 new freshmen on campus who scored uh, 28 or better on the ACT and 141 that scored 30 or better. Illinois State's freshman to sophomore retention rate this year equals our historic high of 85%. And our graduation rate this year is an all-time high, 70.4%. How about it? Thank you. These kinds of numbers rank us second in the state among public universities and make our admission standards higher than many of the schools in the Big Ten and most of the institutions in the Big 12. We are very proud of our student body and equally proud of our outstanding faculty and staff members who continue to earn national recognition for their teaching, research, and service efforts. We have more nationally ranked academic programs than any time in our history. In fact, we have three top 20 academic programs on campus today, and that has helped make Illinois State a major draw for high achieving students from throughout the state. Financially, Illinois State continues to meet the many challenges posed by being in Illinois. That may be our biggest challenge, and <laughs> I've had lots of compliments about my presidency. Moving us to another state is not something I can accomplish, but <laughs> I have thought about it. Two important ways we offset the lack of state funding are through grants and private gifts. For the year, fiscal year 2010, Illinois State was awarded more than $21.3 million in grants and contracts, a $3 million increase over the previous year. And while many institutions have seen dramatic drops in private giving, the culture of philanthropy is growing at Illinois State. For the fiscal year that ended June the 30th, the Illinois State University Foundation raised more than $13.2 million in gifts from alumni, friends, and university stakeholders. Our endowment fund now stands at nearly $75 million with assets over $100 million. And last year, we distributed more than $2.3 million to departments across the campus from the foundation. I particularly want to thank members of the 1857 Society, which recognizes cumulative lifetime giving of at least $50,000 from individuals or households and $500,000 from foundations or corporations. 
Donors to the 1857 Society set a high standard for philanthropy at Illinois State and allow our university to thrive with the best in academics, technologies, and facilities. This past year, Illinois State added 25 new donors to the 1857 Society, bringing our total to 217. Immediately after this luncheon, we'll unveil a new 1857 Society donor plaque just outside the Bone Center uh, corridor, and I hope many of you can join us for that celebration. Campus facility enhancements continue at a brisk pace. Right now, we are renovating our largest residence hall, Waterson Towers, a facility that houses more than 2,000 students. Many of you probably wonder what happened to Walker, Dunn, and Barton. They are gone, but in their place is the new student fitness building. The Waterson Towers project, though, is, part, is actually the last stage of a major $100 million renovation to our housing and dining centers. The new fitness center will open in January of 2010, a $49 million facility that will also serve as home to the School of Kinesiology and Recreation, as well as our health promotions and wellness offices. Also in January, we will begin Illinois State's first ever public-private housing initiative. We will demolish the buildings on the Cardinal Court property on Gregory Street, and they'll be replaced with a new 856-bed student apartment complex, which will be owned privately, yet managed by staff from Illinois State. There are a lot of great things happening at Illinois State, and that is just a very brief overview of what I'd like to call the transformation of this great institution. Finally, I hope you enjoy this homecoming weekend and are able to take part in as many activities as you can. We value your ideas, your experience, your wisdom, and certainly your counsel. Most of all, we enjoy the stories about your experiences at Illinois State. Your fond memories warm our hearts and remind us why we are so proud to be part of the Illinois State University family. Thank you. Thank you.